update now on the latest from officials right there in Troop County. Sergeant Stuart Smith with the Troop County Sheriff's Office joins me live from the County Emergency Management Agency offices. Sergeant Smith, uh, good to see you. Thanks for giving us some time this morning. What are you learning about injuries and are there any fatalities after this tornado? The good thing is we don't have any reports of any fatalities. We do have uh, two to three injuries from the tornado. I uh, can confirm right now, I was listening in to the other interview, the second Tiger has been captured inside the park and they are detaining it at this point. So both of those issues have been taken care of inside the wild animal safari. So the second Tiger has been captured. And I can also confirm we've got just initial estimates are 80 to 100 da uh, structures with damage. We also have approximately 20 to 30 structures that receive very significant damage or were completely destroyed down in the West Point area. What are the challenges that first responders are having? Can they get to these structures? Can they find, can, can they get to people who, who need the help? So they are going door to door, uh, structure to structure and clearing those. Also any calls that come in to 911 for uh, people trapped or structural damage, we're trying to check those as quick as we can. We are certainly greatly appreciative of the Georgia State Patrol that responded here. Also LaGrange Police Department, West Point, and uh, Hogsville Police Departments and their emergency services have been offered here. And of course the challenge is trying to get into these structures and check them with these other storm systems that are coming in because at one point our teams down in the West Point area had to take shelter just about an hour ago as that second system came through. Mm, challenges indeed. Now do you believe there could be people trapped in homes? Is there even cell phone service for people to call out? So the one problem we're having here is that uh, it appears Verizon cell phone service is either limited or totally inoperable right now. We have been in touch with them and they are trying to uh, fix the situation. But uh, those that can call 911, we are asking them to do that. Or if they cannot call 911, if their Wi-Fi service or something works and they can message a friend or somebody to reach out to 911 here, certainly do that. But our teams are going structure to structure and checking those one at a time. What do people need to know if loved ones are watching right now and they can get a message? What do you want the people of Troop County to know? Right, so right now it is contained to the West Point area, but it does travel uh, east toward the Meredith County line. It's the southern part of Troop County. We're just trying to urge our citizens to stay off the roads, do not attempt to get down there and ride around or even come in to assist. Now's not the point for citizen volunteers. If we get to that point, we'll certainly make that notification. But right now, again, uh, we only have two to three injuries or minor injuries. We don't have any fatalities, but that could certainly change as our teams get in there and check these structures. And again, just so we are clear and our viewers understand, to your understanding, um, the, the West Point area is the most severely hit area. Is that correct? That is the worst of the damage? Correct. That appears where the storm actually came into Troop County and did most of the damage, and it kind of traveled, it kind of paralleled Highway 18 and traveled east uh, through uh, uh, Whitesville Road, Hamilton Road, the Oak Grove community, and then it traveled on to communities uh, near the Meredith County line. All right, Sergeant Stuart Smith with the Troop County Sheriff's Office. Thank you so much for giving us some time this morning. Thank you for your time.